Hey everyone, welcome to the stream. This is Accounting Nightmare. Welcome Tag, good to see ya. Welcome. It's a story stream. I haven't done a story stream in ages. I've just been streaming nothing but raids. <laughs> hey Furiora. Oh, I love the moonwalking part of that dance. I should do that dance. Uh, M Mumbo. Oh, that's not what it is. M oh, did I misspell Mumbo? I did. <laughs> it's so good. I'll swap to game audio. That music was uh, Gala Mold Express from the Endwalker soundtrack. One of my favourites from Endwalker. Oh, well, actually, there's so many favourites from Endwalker, but I really like that one. But yeah, it's been a while since I did a story stream. I'm just looking at my past VODs, and it looks like I I've, haven't streamed anything that wasn't raiding since September, I think? Yeah, that was when I did the Tataru side quest and unlocked Island Sanctuary. Wild. Yeah, I'm just sorry to anyone who doesn't enjoy the raid content and you want a more story. I'm just having so much fun raiding. Oh, raiding in this game is fantastic. Yeah, I've just been having fun with that. And uh, this was the last bit of 6.2 stuff I wanted to do. The Hildebrand stuff. Didn't really feel in the mood for it, but uh, now I do. So let's go do it before the mood passes. <laughs> yeah, this is the latest Hildebrand stuff they've added. They are adding more in 6.3, which is coming out uh, early next month. So we got that to look forward to as well. Right, um, what happened last time? Do a little re refresh of my memory. Uh, where is Hildebrand? Here, here it is. Side quests. In the middle of all this, Scholasticate, Delivery Moogle, Eureka. Kind of just put everything in here, haven't they? <laughs> Somehow further Hildebrand. Okay, ah, right. His soul got separated from his body. Hildebrand, that is. And uh, we had to go get him back from the first. I should have rewatched it actually. I don't really remember what happened. With the aid of a recovered Gilgamesh, the other three managed to return to the source. But Hildebrand was in a comatose state. Yep, his soul had been summoned to the first. So we went back to the first. We didn't spend much time there, actually. I was kind of hoping we'd spend more time there. But we got his... We put his soul in the... <laughs> In one of those soul crystals, like we did with the Scions. I am myself again, or am I? I have come to realise the forgiven gentleman was no more than a figment of my imagination. The fact remains that my burly body and saintly soul have been separated from one another. I am trapped in this world of dazzling purple, known as the First, unable to reunite with my physical form. But I have not yet begun to investigate. A solution will surely present itself in due course. You may rest assured, my good friends and beloved family, that Hildebrand Hilador Maximilian Mandeville will not rest until he has been made whole. <laughs> yeah, we had, we had to ask Beck Lug for help again, and Beck Lug was like, what? <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, oh, yeah, and his body got kidnapped. His sleeping body. 
So we had to try and uh, investigate that. And there was someone we met, Delian, the editor of an occult periodical, who proffers the far-fetched theory that Inspector Hildebrand had been abducted by aliens. <laughs> You're right, aliens. There was a suspicious person. Yep, someone had taken his body. Had his body in a mysterious sack. We tracked them down. Oh yeah, and the villain was Dr. Luge, one of the bosses from uh, that Endwalker dungeon. I never thought he would show up again. The the doctor who put himself in a robot in Tower of Babel. All right, that happened. <laughs> Your kitty's t yelling about something. Ah, oh, that's cute. The wolf stole him. Yes, that, yeah, actually that did happen. <laughs> he keeps getting kidnapped while comatose. <laughs> hey, Walken, welcome. Yeah, this is, this was my normal streaming time. It's just I've been streaming later because that's my raid time, but this is my usual streaming time when I'm time. doing other content. Do not despair. You are not without allies. Hey, Vips, welcome. Good to see ya. Thank you very much. 24 months. Thank you very much for supping. I appreciate you. Yes, yeah, Nashi loves to try and use bombs for literally anything. Alright, we threw the, the spirit vessel that had his soul in it to his body. Hildebrand woke up. Reunited with his body once more. Uh, he got blown into the heavens and briefly into the void beyond <laughs> on a missile, uh, blew up the Dr. Luge, who may or may not be dead. That's right, no, Luge is a robot now. They were taken into custody. And then suddenly Hildebrand got abducted by aliens. We're going some fun places, I think. <laughs> right, so he's back in his body. He's back here on Eorzea. Well, in Eorzea. But not actually, because he just got abducted by aliens. Well, we have to go find him again. He's been abducted so many times. PvP in Guild Wars 2. Oh, nice. Have fun. Yeah, I do want to try Guild Wars 2. It does sound really good. All right. And uh, yeah, this this is... I'm interested to see how this goes because this actually dovetails into the relic weapons for Endwalker. Lunar Conspiracy. Nashu Makaraka awaits your approach like a butterfly poised to set off a hurricane. Melchan, I have a new lead. And just as I promised, you're the first to know. Before we get into the details, though, I should give you back your soul container. I gave it a good scrub first, of course. Being the gentleman that he is, I'm sure the inspector wouldn't want to leave any lingering spiritual odours. There. Now you can listen to my findings without having distracting thoughts, like, when is Nashu going to give me back my soul container? Now, as for the lead I mentioned, I was thumbing through a periodical and found an article on alien abduction. The way it was described was almost exactly what happened to the inspector. It even had a little diagram of a man swimming in midair. Anyway, the author seemed convinced that the victim had been taken to the moon. This crackpot theory sounds awfully familiar. Why does this sound like the kind of rubbish the Thavnerian Truth publishes? This sounds familiar. That's because it is! You remember Dorian, the editor in Briefs? He was the one who wrote it. And he plans on doing research for the next edition on the moon itself. Apparently there's a portal or something in Garlemald that will take you straight there. Oh, but a world-hopping adventurer like you must have been to the moon already. 
Know it like the back of your hand, I bet. Sort of. I thought so. It'll be nice to have an expert guide up there to help me search for clues. What say you? To the moon, Nashu! We shouldn't be so quick to trust the nonsensical ramblings of a man who sees aliens in every shadow. <laughs> no, to the moon. To the moon, Nashu. Right, I'll start packing my bags. I don't know what the weather is like on the moon, but I remember Garlemald being a bit chilly the last time I was there. Go on to the moon! To the moon! And back. The second time he's been on the moon, isn't it? Hmm, I don't remember the first time. Keep saying one day you'll get back into 14. It's worth it. Really good. And 6.3 is coming out next month, so another chapter of the MSQ. Oh, oh, it's much, much colder than I remember. I sure hope this lunar gate is close. The Tower of Babel? You mean that big spiky spire? Yeah, that one. Well, we definitely shouldn't get lost on the way there. Let's get moving. When are we going to tear that thing down, by the way? It's hideous. Oh, yeah, I, I have a hot Ramu mount now. <laughs> I, I got a lot of mounts <laughs> from doing raids. In theory. Hmm. Well, this is FF14. So instead, there's bunnies on the moon. And this mount's cool. And I love the Gala mold music. Ah. Standard Japanese myths, is it? About bunnies being on the moon? Is that a myth? A common myth in Japan? That probably explains where FF got it from then. Lunar rabbits? Really? I hadn't heard of that. That's cool. Oh, got to wind up Emmet Silk. Hug. So, uh... This thing will send us up to the moon, just like that? Courage, Nashu! The world is in grave danger, and the people deserve to know. I have to reach the moon so I can expose the truth. As I have explained to you twice already, I can only allow passage to authorised travellers which you are not. Ah, oh, you're with them, aren't you? The aliens have infiltrated every layer of our society. Love this music. What in blazes are you talking about? I'm Dalmaskin, born and raised. Oh look, it's Dorian, the editor in briefs. That's Delian. <laughs> Editor-in-chief, thank you very much. And you were friends of the abducted, I believe? Melchan, greetings. Are you acquainted with this man by any chance? Mm. He exposited in my direction once. No, nor am I affiliated with him in any way, shape or form. <laughs> nope. Nope. I take no responsibility. I wouldn't think so. He doesn't seem the kind of company a hero like you would keep. But no, Chan, 
Aren't you forgetting that whole conversation we had with Dorian back in Reds at Han? Melchan? As in Melchan and Gora? Slayer of gods, saviour of Ishgard, liberator of the provinces, stealer of pants? How did I fail to recognise such an unbelievably famous individual? As a champion of the people, you have a duty to lead us through this fact-strangling checkpoint. We cannot let your comrade's abduction go unsolved. He needs you, and the world needs my next article. And you believe he was taken to the moon? Well, that certainly sounds like an emergency to me. Your acquaintance here seems sincere in his desire to help, so I will grant him special dispensation to accompany you just this once. You may proceed to the nether gate. Yeah, I, I don't want... Okay. Mysterious forces have thrust us together, and though I trust the fates about as much as I trust that obviously compromised gate guard, I will leave no moonstone unturned. The truth is up there. Mm-hmm. I think we're stuck with him now. The moon! There's a lovely dust storm here at the moment. Dragon Ball they put that rabbit on the moon. Huh. I don't I don't think I've actually seen that part of Dragon Ball. Huh. That's cool to know though. Is is this it? Are we here? No, this is not the moon. Oh, the moon is just as white and shiny up close. But not made of cheese, and no sign of Inspector Hildebrand either. So, we've already arrived? The Empire's technology is more advanced than I feared. Over there! The aliens have built some kind of forward base on the lunar surface. We must sneak in and blow the lid on their invasion plans. Looks like Dorian has a lead. Come on, we should follow him. Oh no. Watcher, I am so sorry. <laughs> aliens! Honest to God's aliens. I never expected them to be so tall. Or so small and bunny-like. Welcome. If I had known I was receiving so many visitors, I would have sent for more tea. That voice speaking inside my head. I don't know the words, but their meaning is clear. Uh, are they wielding psychic powers to try and brainwash me? You all right there, friend? Need help with anything in particular? And this one speaks our tongue fluently. Learned it from your chalet and collaborators, I'll wager. Wait, how did he know that? Don't think you'll fool me, what with your adorable bunny nose and silken ears. I'll print the truth before you arrive to beguile my fellow men. You're one of Uriange's friends, aren't you? I'm not sure who or what put such odd ideas into your companion's head, but would you mind setting him straight for me? The Loperits are not alien in invaders, although their adorableness does belie their capacity for shenanigans. The Loperits are allies of all mankind, misguided attempts to make us live off carrots alone notwithstanding. Allies of all mankind. <gasps> they got to you, didn't they? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. 
I've heard the rumours about the disbanded Scions of the Seventh Dawn. The formerly secret society has in truth become all the more secret that it may pull our leader's strings from the shadows. <laughs> he actually is right. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Hold it right there, mister. I won't stand here and listen to you slander Melchan or this lovely bunny any longer. You better not libel them either. Libel? Libel? Libel. We actually came in search of Inspector Hildebrand, a dashing gentleman who we think was brought here by a shiny flying saucer. You wouldn't happen to have seen either of them around here, would you? I am afraid I have seen neither. Long was it my duty to keep watch, but as the need for constant vigilance has since ended, I have grown accustomed to idleness. It's rather refreshing, really. Anyway, perhaps the Loperitz may have observed this man or his abductor. Hmm, I feel I would have remembered if I had. The others might have seen something, though. Why don't you, I take you over to Best Ways Burrow and you can ask them about it yourself? That sounds like a wonderful idea. Please lead the way. If nothing else, getting an eyeful of the facilities we built for the benefit of mankind should help reassure your suspicious friend there. So the watcher just sits around now. <laughs> Needs a hobby. Libel. Libel, yeah, libel. That's it. <laughs> My chocobo. Yeah, it's a cute outfit, isn't it? Oh, I've got teleported straight here. That's nice. Sectoids, yes. I played XCOM, uh, the first of the, uh, the new uh, XCOMs. I haven't played the second yet, though. It was fun. I knew it! Seeing the burrow in all its magnificence has left your friend speechless. Good gods! So many bunnies! If they can build a forward base on this scale, then what hope does mankind have against them? Oh, for the love of carrots, this is not a military operation. Do you see any cannons or assault craft? We haven't any weaponry at all. Take your time and chat with whomever you like. As for me, I've got perfectly innocuous and not at all nefarious things to do. Bye now. <laughs> right then, let's get on with the investigation. Nashu and Delian are now accompanying you. Not at all nefarious. Mm. Oh, I just want to nibble on their fuzzy little ears. Same. I'm taking notes on everything in this space. Floor plans, personnel, abstract tree structures. My next issue will expose their entire operation. Right, you, you have fun with that. Discuss the aetherite. Look, they even have an aetherite here. An aetherite. A convenient tool for meeting with their Charlayan co-conspirators, no doubt. Oh, they'll tell you aetherites were an elegant invention, but it really was just one of the many alien technological secrets received in exchange for their undying loyalty. Link pearls, too. Be careful what you say on those private calls. The Charleans are always listening. <laughs> I love all the conspiracies about the Charleans. <laughs> Do a star dive and let him go at the top. <laughs> it does sound like fun. Hello, Languid Loperit. What is your name, by the way? Oh, I often stretch my legs out there under the stars. 
but can't say I've noticed anything out of the ordinary. Sorry. Not to worry. We'll try our luck elsewhere. Thank you. Very faced liars, the lot of them. They're probably hiding an entire fleet of alien attack craft. This is a different lock it. Did that man call me a furry faced liar? I must have heard him wrong. <laughs> My Ramu. Machinery beneath the floor. Ooh. A propulsion engine. Of course. This is no mere moon. You know, the satellite upon which we stand was never a natural celestial body, right? It was a grand fabrication of the ancients. They were in contact with aliens even back then, but the purpose of their ambitious construction has eluded us until now. It's obvious that the moon is a colossal star-faring vessel. <laughs> Again, he's right. <laughs> Oh, that's a big fan. It must get hot in here. <laughs> the difference in their observations are pretty funny. Star Wars joke, definitely. Hey, Agnika, welcome. Current free playtime. There's free playtime. Can you not do savage raids? Uh, do you mean like with a free trial or? Oh, ever since we built the Excitatron 6000, we get all kinds of people around here. Would you describe your missing friend in a bit more detail? Yeah, the, the Excitatron is the, uh, the treasure map dungeon at the moment. Well, he's very gentlemanly and dapper. If you look past the almost certainly tattered state of his clothing. Hmm. Though their fashion sense can be a bit eclectic, our visiting adventurers have always dressed impeccably. Not to be rude, but I have a feeling your friend would have stood out in that crowd. He's probably strapped to a table somewhere, even as we speak, enduring unspeakable experiments. Ugh. From what I've pieced together so far, the giant alien is the master, and all these smaller Xenobunnies are artificial life forms created to serve as minions in his armies. Their harmless appearance is part of the strategy. As soon as you let your guard down, snap! They take you down like a pack of tiny herbivorous wolves. <laughs> Dorian has some interesting theories, doesn't he? Being nibbled to death by a mob of cuddly bunnies doesn't sound like a bad way to go. <laughs> they gave over 90 hours of free playtime. Really? Oh, okay. That's cool. After you finished MSQ. Uh, the, the current Savage tier is Pandemonium. Did you, uh, you have to finish Endwalker. Did you finish 6.0? Then, uh, then there's the Pandemonium raid. I'm not sure why, if... I don't think they would lock that off. Yeah, as for Delos. Then in High End Duty. Yeah, this is the current here. Abyssus. And th there's old savages as well that you should be able to get. You'd have to do them unsynced, but... Like Heavenswood, there's a Savage Alexander's. I bring tidings. Oh, hey, Croker. despair. You are not without allies. Thank you very much. Welcome, Croker. It's good to see you. 50 months, wow. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you. 
You did all the raid before your last subscription ended? Okay. Out of end. Okay. Uh, did you do the unlock quest for savages? It's over in. Uh, Charl. Uh, yeah. Labyrinthos, that's him. <laughs> yeah, the unlock quest is. Uh, I think it was around here. There's a blue quest to talk to someone and they unlock the savage modes for you. Yeah, I believe it was around here. Once you find your friend, you should all come back and give the Excitatron a whirl. I guarantee you'll love it 6,000. That makes no sense. Which way are we going? Over here. And then both. Oh, okay. And did it say that it unlocked the savages, but then you can't see the savages? Hey, trying to talk them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, this sounds great. <laughs> Very silly. I love it. If you try and make a uh, if you try and make a party finder duties high end duty do these not show up? Do you have anything in high end duty? Yeah, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth would be in high end, and the previous tier would be in regular raids. Yeah, they're at the top of the list here. I'm not sure, I don't think they would lock them off for free players. That would be a strange thing to do. Maybe it's a bug or something? Hmm. No gentleman in ragged clothes, I'm afraid, but I did spot an object in flight that I couldn't immediately identify. It was while I was out gathering materials in the south of Mere Lamentorum. I presumed it was just some elegant relic or new species of floating jellyfish and didn't think too much of it. Cool, now that sounds promising. Thank you for your time. Sleeping Lopperit. What's this then? A pod for growing new Xeno bunnies? They must plan to produce them in the millions and overwhelm us with sheer fuzzy numbers. How could I have been so blind? Those aren't ears. They're psychic wave generators. They lure people close with their precious little faces, and then bam, brainwashed. Can I send you home? <laughs> You're annoying. <laughs> I figured it all out, alien scum. And once the world reads my special edition, your dreams of domination will be done for. What a strange and oddly aggravating man. Is he a friend of yours too? He thinks he's a friend of the people, but I don't think any people are his friends. Ooh. Critical hit. Right, let's get out there and find that flying object. Do you know which direction is south? <laughs> Wait, I'm coming with you. Don't leave me alone with the brainwashing Xeno bunnies. <laughs> I'm not sure how to describe what I saw, but you'll know it when you see it. Where are we going? Down there. Okay, I'll be faster to teleport. Thank you, Weaving Way. Oh, I've, I've got a bed now. Flying bed. Circles one to four. Oh, are you trying to find them in like in the duty finder? I 
I'm not sure if you can queue up for savages in there. It looks like you can. Hang on, let me swap to a level 90. Oh, you can. Okay. Probably wouldn't find anyone. Because people use Party Finder for that stuff. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, it should show up in the Duty Finder as well. Raids Endwalker. Yeah, Endwalker has its own section since it's the current expansion. I kind of like the Astrologian um, set I'm using at the moment, so I'll go back to Astrologian. Bed. This game's so silly, I love it. I should say hi to the Watcher. Hello. So you just sit here now, huh? Need any books or anything to read? <laughs> That's actually pretty cute. Melchan, do come in. Sit for a while and tell me more of your time in Elpis. Shall I send for some tea? Since their visit to Atheris, the Loperitz have taken to brewing the beverage to serve along with afternoon afternoon treats. I have no need of sustenance, of course, but I do recall Vanar providing such things as we engaged in lengthy discourse. Continuing the custom seems appropriate somehow. Oh, that's sweet. Suddenly wholesome. What are we going to get in the random mount roulette this time? Orb! Oh, you're not done with circles three and four. Ah, okay. Yeah, you got to finish uh, three and four. And then once you finish that chunk of the story, then you'll be able to unlock Savage for all four of those. And then five, six, seven, eight are the next chunk of story. And once you're done with that, you can unlock the Savage versions of them all. Music here is so peaceful. All right, looking for a UFO. Search for the flying object. Oh, dog. Argos. Nashu is romping around with Argos, already forgetting why she was out here. If there's anything, any Easter eggs? Oh, that looks like a flying object. Oh, I can't get the camera over there. Hang on. Put this guy first. Delian is searching high and low for any sign of alien vessels. Like a true professional. <laughs> sure. Iliums. Ah, there it is. And there it goes. Come on, we can't let it get away. Very small. Small and cute. <laughs> we did it, Melchan. We found the inspector. Case closed. <laughs> Horrendous. Only aliens could subject a man to such a callous and physically implausible fate. Oh, no. Um. 
Um, are my eyes playing tricks on me, or do you see a whole field of planted Hildebrands? Um, well, well, what a delightful surprise to see you here, wherever here happens to be. Oh no. My, what an impressive specimen of a gentleman you are, good sir. <laughs> the same could be said of you, my good man. Is this an extemporaneous gentleman's club? If I may be so bold as to join you? What in the name of the occult is happening here? Where did they all come from? They're phantom Hildebrands created by the refraction of starlight through swamp gas. Could, could be their Hildebrand clones grown in an alien laboratory's flesh fats. Uh, refraction of starlight through swamp gas. Imposters, you mean? Don't worry, I know just how to find the real inspector. Bomb time? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Cease and desist, Nashu. Use your powers of deduction, not destruction. Hmm. They're all so authentic and synchronized. I honestly can't tell the difference. Oh. No more violence. Well, look no further, for I am the one and only Hildebrand, agent of inquiry and inspector extraordinaire. The one and only? I believe that would be me, good sir. How odd. I think you will find that I am the original Hildebrand. Oh, I am more certain that I am Hildebrand. <laughs> I love all the question marks that it's adding. As am I. Could it be that we are all Hildebrand? <laughs> How positively marvellous! I propose we celebrate this auspicious moment, as only a mob of Mandeville men can. They're gonna, they're, they're gonna dance? <laughs> yep. <laughs> what manner of waking nightmare is this? She's dancing to. Oh. 
Oh, okay. There's the real one, I guess. Alien! Oh, so small. Apologies for the confusion, my friends. I assure you that this time, you stand in the presence of the inimitable Hildebrand Hilidor Maximilian Mandeville. The poo poo, yes, that's right, I forgot the name of it. Cute. Flesh bats sounds gross, yes. That was indeed pretty cursed. And this diminutive blue chap here is my new associate, Master Poo Poo. Ah, here we go. Oh. Oh. Another alien species. Yeah. <gasps> of course, you're building a clone army to invade our star. And what we stumbled upon was a field test. I do not believe we've had the pleasure, my excitable fellow, but I promise you that the in that the amicable Master Poo Poo has no desire to wage any clone wars. Then what's this all about? Are you telling me you weren't abducted? A simple misunderstanding. Oh. Flashback time. Oh, what a charming little rascal you are. An offshoot of the Mandragora family, perchance? Poo poo. Poo 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 poo. Poo 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 poo. Poo poo. Ah, I see. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Master Poo poo. Might I inquire as to our current whereabouts? I had but recently reunited with Nashu and Melchan, and would greatly appreciate it if you could convey me back to my prior location. Full speed ahead, my dear fellow. Yeah, they're going all in with the Star Wars jokes, aren't they? <laughs> Steady on now. This is not what I had in mind. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh. My word, you have generated a veritable battalion of identical gentlemen. Surely the world could never safely contain so much pure Mandevillian magnificence? Could you perchance reverse the process? Why are they so dangerous? Uh, so ominous. There's one left. Oh, gods. No, not like that. Hmm. 
Mummy! <laughs> All right. Thanks for the cutscene, which didn't explain anything. <laughs> yeah, it that reminded me of yeah the Louis Soir. Oh, from the the uh, the end of one point zero cinematic. Star Wars references are an FF standard, really? Ah, oh, I didn't didn't actually know that. That's cool. Yeah, so these uh, these were the ones you had to find in multiple places in eight, was weren't they? And you had to give them something. Again, I'm just trying to remember. You're getting like a, a battle with them, but instead you would give them an item. Thus, I have concluded that Master Poo Poo has no grasp of the common tongue, and his true intentions, while surely peaceable, remain woefully unclear. It was only through frenzied gestures that I managed to direct him back here and have him clean up our Mandeville multiplicity incident. Poo poo, I hail. Poo 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 poo, from a star. Poo poo, a great distance from here. Oh, the little eyes, cute. Poo poo, I came in search of a friend whose communications halted mid exploration. Yeah, I should be able to understand them. If they've got a soul. All this way to aid a comrade in distress, you say? The devotion, the determination. Your touching story has sunk its hooks into my heart. Fear not, my blue-hued friend. For I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, Inspector Extraordinaire have attached myself to this case like a stubborn barnacle on a kraken's behind. <laughs> I swear to you, here and now, I shall scour all of creation from the deepest pit of the seven hells to the very pinnacle of the heavens for the missing comrade that you so desperately seek. <laughs> Aww. Aww, cute. Yeah, we, we can understand them because of the echo. Chase the ship around, then attack it so it crashes. Then you either kill it or give it five elixirs. That's right, that's what I was thinking of. Cool. Imagine killing it, how rude. I am glad you were here to help ward off any more poo poo misunderstandings. Oh my god, listen to its footsteps. Cute. Mr. Poo Poo's eyes make me feel dizzy, like swirls that go around and around and around and around. An entirely new species of alien. The next issue of The Truth will need to be a special double edition. Alright, need to be a 90, probably. Dragoon. I'm a dragoon. Tell me, Melchan, how is it that you're able to understand Master Poo Poo's language? The Echo did it. The power of echoes. Ah, you mean persistent repetition? It sounds similar to the Mandeville art of parley. You're saying you have an extrasensory ability that allows communication with aliens? How fascinating. Oh, whoops, this is Delian saying that. How fascinating. Yes, most fascinating indeed. Pending mysteries aside, I am glad indeed to once more be in the company of my faithful assistant and stalwart contemporary both. It's cute. Pet.
This echo power of yours sounds extraordinary. You must allow me to interview you once we put this business on the moon behind us. Oof, sorry to hear that, Walken. Eight in a row. Oof. I hope it turns around for you. Oh, oh, that looks creepy. The imperfect gentleman. Unfazed by events that would shatter the mind of a lesser man, Hildebrand stands ready to begin his next case. Oh, is this going to be the one who escaped? Yeah, one of them escaped. So it begins the case of the silent correspondent. Uh, not to rain on your parade, but my friend who was somewhere on your star stopped sending messages is not a lot to go on. I've spent years investigating the existence of aliens, and recent experiences notwithstanding, they are not that easy to find. Then you don't know Inspector Hildebrand. He'll solve this case as he solved countless others with unerring perception and panache. Ah, uh, <laughs> Well said, Nashu. I need but relinquish conscious thought to investigative instinct, and the clues will flow to me forthwith. Relinquish conscient, conscious thought. Lose yourself in the deductive current, Inspector. You're channeling, aren't you? Contacting a higher power to breach the veil of mystery? Another fascinating development. Hello. Ah, oh, there you are. I've been looking all over. Thought you'd like to know that I spotted that chap you were asking about. You know, the well-muscled gentleman with tattered clothing and dazzling teeth? You mean this gentleman? We found him too. Well, that can't be right. I just saw him in the north of Mare Lamentorum, and he ran the other way when I called out. I don't understand how he could have arrived before me. I have a feeling, Mr. Bunny, sir, that what you saw was an imposter. Nochen, would you mind asking Mr. Poo Poo if he was growing any more inspectors on the moon? <laughs> what a question. <laughs> poo poo I only created a single batch but one did manage to escape the vaporization beam that individual's behavior was unpredictable a flaw in the cloning process I'm afraid oh no well this won't do at all we cannot have a flawed inspector running around besmirching the Mandeville name. Master Poo Poo, I must ask that we hunt down and liquidate my other self as soon as possible. Might we delay the search for your comrade until the deed is done? Poo Poo, the imperfect clone was of my making. It is only right that I redress my mistake first. So begins the case of the imposter inspector. Oh, that does sound exciting. If you don't mind me coming along, I can show you the place where I saw the imposter inspector. What a strange crew we have here. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah, I was expecting some kind of Among Us joke. Not quite yet, though. Not yet. What mount we got this time? Car! Fly my car around the moon. Credit dance? Probably at the end, yeah. They usually have a little dance, little dance sequence at the end.
get this fan tempered. <laughs> Rude. My car? No? No. Poo poo. My ship's matter duplication facility is prone to the occasional glitch. I should probably have that looked at. Why did you clone him in the first place? I wonder what other nefarious abilities this so called amicable alien is hiding. It was right around here. Nushu's sleeping. I espy with my little eye. No dashingly defective gentleman. You can't have made it that far on foot. Why don't we try searching the immediate area? Scan the horizon? That kind of thing. Then I suggest we split up so we can cover more ground. Nashu, Melchan and I will investigate the west. Right, I'll take these other two and head east. Splitting the party again? And you're leaving me with the aliens? Oh, relax, bright eyes. We'll have a nice chat. And I can disabuse you of all those strange conspiratorial notions. Oh, and we can get to know our new friend here. Good luck. <laughs> Let us be on our way as well. With Melchan in the van, if you please. I think we've forgotten how fast Hildebrand can run. We're saying, oh, he can't have gone far. He can run real fast, though. Being on the moon reminds me of that time I was blasted all the way to Delamud. Ah, I do believe that was a personal best in terms of distance flung. When you're up in the sky, our world's a pizza pie. Oh, so pretty. Wolf. Conversation spot first. Discuss the cradle of darkness. Behold this sublime vista. It is as if the moon herself breathed beneath our feet. Oh, look down there. They have their very own hot spring. My dear Nashu, what you are observing is no hot spring, but a natural reservoir of ceruleum. With such a rich resource to hand, it is no wonder they can afford these palatial residences. I'm glad you're here to educate me, Inspector. I was about to take a quick soak. <laughs> Dog. A rank. Hello. The Lunar Tender Queen. He's fabulous. Ah. Hammer struck thinker. Ooh. Yeah. Yep forgotten about him going to Delamud. That's a good memory. A goldsmithing hammer is lodged in the thinker's carcass. It appears to have been dealt a single swift killing blow. Goldsmithing? That sounds more like um, the father, Godbert. Oh, the bugs grow big up here, don't they? This hammer, surely it cannot be. Nay, it does not bear thinking about Come along, nothing to see here. <laughs> Dragon dead.
starry sky. Not a single cloud in sight. In fact, I've never seen the night sky so clearly. Now that you mention it, it's been night time the entire time I've been here. How much longer until dawn breaks, do you think? <laughs> Does he not realise he's on the moon or... <laughs> What a dazzling display of stars. Uh oh. Another victim of a hammer. Another goldsmithing hammer. Another killing blow that bespeaks unparalleled strength. Oh, it looks like he's yawning. The hammer stuck in his head spoils the effect, though. He cannot be here. Why would he be here? That's a goldsmithing tool, isn't it? It does look awfully familiar. And yet completely unrelated to our case. Moving on, people, moving on. Fancy footprints. <laughs> Get a lot eventually. Hmm. There's a cat. Enjoy this beautiful, peaceful music as Cleo eats some food. Now, I don't have a cat alarm anymore. We just feed her one big bunch of food uh, earlier in the earlier in the afternoon. And that seems to be working out well for her. Yeah, we've been trying a bunch of different things with her feeding schedule because uh, she has a very sensitive stomach. This seems to be going pretty well so far. Good cat. I should drink some water. Get the footprints. A set of gentlemanly tracks leads to the northwest. Aha! In the sand, in the snow, or in a half ilm of moon dust, I'd recognize those fancy footprints anywhere. They're a perfect copy of mine. Our fugitive imposter must be just up ahead. I sense a gentlemanly presence. He is close. Very close. No clones in the northeastern quadrant that we could see. That's clever. Mr. Poo Poo can scout for us from the air. I found me. Uh oh. Oh. Why? Why did I flee? He seems sad, downcast, very uninspector like. A flawed creation, to be sure. 
Such negative emotions would never mar the heart of a true mandible man. Oh no. Oh no. Praise Thor for his patience. It would seem my beloved Hildi has been awoken from his unnatural slumber. Oh no! Abandoning my gentleman comrades to save myself. My pride in worse tatters and my maltreated wardrobe. My fatherly love? Denied? Unthinkable. Unless that is not my son. <laughs> what? I... I... Their family has issues. <laughs> Just gonna destroy the moon while we're here. Oh, there, there was the Luna Tender Queen. Throw <laughs> mm. him back to uh, to the planet. <laughs> back to Atheris. Another of me survived? Uh-oh. <laughs> I'll not turn tail and run this time. No, sir. Hildebrand to the rescue. Round and round as fast as I can. I can't slow down. I'm a Mandeville man. Mandeville dance of the ephemeral twins. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Oh. Um. Oh, 
Oh, cute. <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. That's okay, though. Alright, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Hey, Madrick. Love how he realizes it's not Hildy because my son would never stop me from pile driving him. Yeah. <laughs> now I know I'm dreaming. That can't possibly be real. Ah, uh, that was a little something we were preparing to welcome the people of Atheris. I almost forgot it was still there. <laughs> boo boo. No. Oh. I think I saw Enkidu in there somewhere. Yep. <laughs> the barrage appears to have stopped, but just look at all this junk. Please be sure to pick up your litter before you leave. The moon belongs to everyone, you know. Sorry. Oh. oh, he's a goldsmith. No! Did, no, did we kill him? Hildebrand Hillador Maximilian Mandeville, how good I am to see you up and about. Your mother will be beside herself with joy. I only stand before you now thanks to Nashu, who stood ever vigilant at my bedside, and to Melchan, who ferried my soul back across from the rift, uh, back from across the rift. My son is indeed blessed with comrades of quality. You have my heartfelt gratitude. To you, Master Poo Poo, I extend my apologies. In my excitement, I fear I have broken your starship. If there is aught I can do to help effect repairs, you have only to ask. Poo Poo, my vessel experienced a temporary malfunction, but there was no major structural damage. It brings me relief and joy to hear it. Ahem. Might I have a word, Melchan? I had actually come to the moon in search for certain rare ore, and by Thol's good, good graces, my quest has been successful. The ore, however, is but the first step of a longer saga. Meet me back in Reds at Han, and I will explain the role I wish you to play. Ah, that's for the, uh... The weapons. Cool. Yes, I think it best we make the journey starwards. We'll not find Master Poo Poo's friend from up here, unless someone packed an extremely efficacious spyglass. Anybody? No? Then home it is. Oh, that's right, you're still here. <laughs> For years, I've chased after the supernatural and the inexplicable, but to encounter so much of it in such a short span of time, my mind still reels from the implications. 
yet I must keep my gaze focused beyond the veil. A chance like this comes only once in a lifetime. We're back. Okay. Mudge's stomach is getting sensitive too. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Poor kitty. Hope you're able to get some of uh, some of Smudge's usual cat food again. Yeah, we we've had a lot of. Uh, supply issues around here as well. Uh, hey, it's uh, the stalker. Oh, uh, yes, I'm still here. That alien tried to take me away from my Miss Nashu, but as you can see, true love has prevailed. I'll be around as always, lurking, <coughs> keeping an adoring eye on the most beautiful girl in the world, from a respectful distance, of course. You didn't worry about the clones returning to plague you. The vaporization ray disassembles matter on a molecular level. You killed them all. That's pretty dark, actually. See, I told you I recognized those hammers. A good inspector never forgets a tool. Now begins the hard work of compiling my notes into a structured account of events. There is so much to say. I may need to stretch this over several articles. Ah, how lovely to be back on the star of my birth. Father did not tarry to chat, but said something about returning here with, an in with a trusted employee. Ah, oh, he was running away from the junk barrage too. Nice. <laughs> I'll have to go back and look at the VOD. I saw Enkidu, but I didn't see... Uh, the stalker. Well, we have no time for further familial pleasantries. Nashu and I must devote all our mental energies to the case of the silent correspondent. My keen inspector's sense impels me to begin our search in that direction. Make haste, my companions, for justice waits for no man, not even one who is little and blue. Inspector, wait! Can't justice make an exception for me? His channeling appears to be remarkably effective. Fascinating. Yes, most fascinating indeed. Melchan, forgive me. I seem to have been labouring under a misconception. After spending some time with the Xeno Bunnies, it has become clear to me that they have not the slightest intention of invading our star. They are no threat to us. Yay. But he is. Oh no. <laughs> you know of whom I speak. That devious Master Poo Poo and his diabolical devices devised solely for world domination. I shall have to investigate him further to learn the intricacies of his plans but I may require your aid, not to mention your interpretation. I'll even pay you a retainer fee. So please, when the time comes, join me on my quest for the truth. A retainer fee, thanks. Ah, Melchan, my apologies for the wait. Shall we proceed to business then? The task at hand concerns nothing less than a family legacy. The recreation of the historically significant and astronomically magnificent Mandeville weapons. They were the designs of a distant ancestor, you see. While the originals have long since vanished, the manual containing the secrets of their construction survived. A precious heirloom passed down through generations of Mandevilles. Why the sudden passion for weaponsmithing? Aren't your hammers built for hammering gold? 
profession for weaponsmithing. It is true that, as a goldsmith, I've had little occasion for crafting implements of war. Why this project and why now, you may very well ask? Then I shall very well tell you. The tale begins not so long ago. I was here, in Rezat Han, to discuss a deal with an up-and-coming merchant. The matter in question was an acquisition proposal. Alas, the talk soured, so I made preparations to depart. It was then that the sky burst into flame. You know all too well what horrors followed. I did my best to defend the citizenry from the beasts which spawned, yet I could not save them all. Saved far too few, in fact. Well, sudden tone shift. The memory of it haunted me, day and night, and I found myself unable to work. But then I heard the news of how you and your companions had ventured forth to banish this evil at its source. You forged on in the face of deepest despair, and it gave me the courage to do the same. I took a good, hard look in the looking glass and asked, what can Godbert Mandeville do to safeguard the people of this star? Thus did I realize that I had both the knowledge and the skill to forge the greatest of weapons, that I might empower others to protect themselves and their fellow man. So I began going down the list, acquiring the necessary materials with single-minded purpose. One of these was a goodly chunk of purest Mandarium ore, a metal found exclusively in meteorites, and that only rarely. Mandarium. <laughs> I searched high and low, scouring impact sites and consorting with kobolds, all to no avail. Then, when none was to be found on Hydaelyn, I set my sights on the moon, where I at last obtained a sizable sample. Now I say, at last, but the list of materials goes on. If I'm to collect the rest in a timely fashion, I must employ the help of a comrade of quality. When you can spare a moment from adventuring, or aiding my dear son in his, in his expect, inspecting, pray drop a word in the ear of my manservant here. I shall clear my schedule of trivial interruptions, and we can proceed with the recreation of a Mandeville weapon forthwith. Okay. Yeah, that was 6.0 stuff. You couldn't afford my retainer fee? Yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, else elsewhere in Reddit Han. Oh, shadowy figure. head of the bloody scientist. <laughs> they've, they've gotten more and more. Oh, sound the alarm! A prisoner is escaping! They've gotten more and more ridiculous with like the shadowy figure that we, oh, we can't see who it is and it's, they're just getting like really up close with it now. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> on solid ground, on far or far out of this world, beyond the truth lies the weird and absurd. A beloved son, he's second to none, our agent of inquiry, Hildebrand Mandeville. 
Definitely not an alien clone. Hey, you, Inspector. Oh. We have to get rid of that clone. I liked them. Maybe they just got teleported under the UFO, but uh, I think they're gone. Well, that was the the Hildebrand stuff. No uh, achievement. Okay. Our time on the moon truly opened my eyes, Melchan, and I mean to keep them open. I know not what that Master Poo Poo is planning, but it falls to you and me to find out. Huh. Well, that's the end of that chapter. I suppose I can... I'll start off the, uh, the weapon crafting. Just to see... Just to see what it's like. Make it a Mandeville. Receive a Mandeville weapon for Dragoon. Yes. That's Dragoon. Make it a Mandeville. The House Mandeville manservant has been patiently waiting to speak with you. Mr. Sangora, how wonderful to finally speak with you. Your cooperation in Lord Mandeville's weaponsmithing endeavour is highly appreciated. Regarding said endeavour, we have borrowed a corner of the High Crucible in which to base our crafting station. If you would be so kind as to follow me. Alright, where's that? Ah, down there. Ah, that's why they added an Aether right there. Nice. This whole area is so cool. Our humble base of operations. You will no doubt be coming back and forth many times in the days ahead, so I strongly suggest that you attune to the city Aethernet if you've not done so already. Otherwise, I trust you are all set to proceed. One moment whilst I inform Lord Mandeville of your arrival. Oho! Welcome, Melchan, welcome. With your stalwart assistance added into the mix, I have every confidence that this adventure in forging will be a complete success. And so, let us begin with a detailed exposition on the history of Mandeville weaponry. Detailed exposition. <laughs> Here we go. First of all, when I say Mandeville weaponry, what I refer to is the series of masterpieces crafted by the legendary artisan Godbrand Mandeville the First Lord of House Mandeville. Made with mystical Mandarium, these purportedly peerless armaments are perhaps our most, most prized treasures, or at least they were, until someone misplaced them. Terrible housekeeping that. Fortunately, the time-worn manual in which Godbrand penned his secrets is both intact and still within our possession. Thus, with that precious family heirloom in hand, and a ready supply of purest ore, I intend to recreate what was lost. The work, however, cannot proceed without a few more key ingredients. I should like to call upon you to procure said materials, as well as provide a seasoned adventurer's perspective on the fruits of our labour. Excellent! I knew I could count on you. As a goldsmith, crafting weaponry is akin to venturing into unknown territory, and I would place my trust only in the most proficient of guides. Speaking of which, may I introduce one of the very best in the business. Come on over, my friend. Geralt. Yep. Ugh, bloody hells. I had a feeling you were the adventurer his lordship mentioned was helping out. Like a fly on shite when you catch a whiff of shiny new weapons, ain't you? <sighs> yeah, Geralt is involved in every relic, uh, relic weapon craft questline so far. And he's 
Not a pleasant man. You don't seem too eager to be here. Come on, this will be fun. This will be fun. Oh, I like a barrel full of plague-ridden places. Look at this gill addled dandy I'm forced to hammer for. I'd rather drag me stones cross hot coals than forge yet another rich old bastard's trinkets. Is that the way of it, then? I contacted Rowena, hoping to employ the talents of Eorzea's finest smith. But as you clearly have no interest in providing me with your services, I shall hire another artisan. We can put this talk of stones and coals behind us. Wait, wait, wait. You've got me all wrong, your lordship. That was just a bit of smitty humour to lighten the mood. I would be honoured to work on your trink... Uh, man of a weapon. You want to be here or not? <laughs> so here's the thing. I already spent the coin this job will bring me on some right fancy bottles of Thavnarian liquor. I can't afford not to do it. So that means we're back in business, yes? Marvellous! Aye, it's bloody splendid it is. Your crew is all present and accounted for. So let's get to smithing. There is naught I'd like to do more. Presently, however, there are three conundrums which stand between us and making any Mandeville armament a reality. The first of these is the devising of a method for working the Mandarium. From what I've been able to decipher from the manual, the process is quite demanding. You just leave that to old Gerald. I've yet to meet a metal I can't beat into shape. Oh-ho! Then I shall cede that chore to your artisanal ingenuity. The second is the crafting of ornamentation, which will amplify the weapon's etheric intensity. If it's a sturdy blade you need, then I'm your man. But fiddly bits of decoration are not in me smith and wheelhouse. Then it is fortunate that fiddling with bits is most assuredly in mine. <laughs> uh. Though it shall no doubt be a challenge, creating suitably exquisite adornments is a task well suited to me and my goldsmithing hammer. As for the third and final problem wanting for resolution, we require a vial of Exalamandeville. What? <laughs> if one has access to an industrial size alchemical furnace, it should be possible to extract this superlative mineral oil from Mandarium rich meteorites. Assuming I've understood what I've heard of the process, this Exalamandra what's it oil is key to maximizing ethereal conductivity. And thanks to the good graces of the High Crucible, we have the extraction apparatus we require right here. All that remains is to collect three or so goodly chunks of Mandaria Meteorite. That will be your charge, Melchan. Right, then I will see about preparing materials for my share of the workload. And I'll start stoking the flames. Sounds like we'll need them nice and hot. Oh, Rowana asked me to tell you, Summit. Seems like one of her lackeys has oh so bloody conveniently set up shop over by the Aetherite, and just might have the meteorite chunks we need. Last by the name of Jabrunna, I think it was. Could save you some searching, but she sure as shite ain't giving out Skyrocks for free. Mandeville weapons! I mean, I could go to the moon again, I guess? No? Okay. Debrana, in the Aetherite Plaza. I expect she's got the meteorite chunks you need, but like I said, they won't come cheap. Yeah. Hey, Blazing Blade, welcome. Good to see ya. Yeah, Geralt is, uh... <laughs> He's not good with money <laughs> and he will always be making a weapon to pay off his debts 
until the end of time. <laughs> Hello. You must be the famous Melchan. Mistress Rowaner said to expect you and to assist with any procurement requests. Mandarian Meteorite? Why, yes, we happen to have cornered the market on that particular asset. Yeah. Only so many of them fall from the sky, you see, and collectors offer top gill for such rarities. In your case, however, I've been instructed to request payment in an alternative currency. Say it with me now. <laughs> Tomestones. Elegant Tome Stones. The going rate is 500 elegant tomestones of astronomy for one chunk of Mandarian meteorite. I'll be here whenever you're ready to make the trade. <laughs> Always tomestones. That's all you got at the moment? Alright. This fist sized hunk of meteorite contains rich deposits of exceedingly rare Mandarian ore. Provides a small quantity of mineral oil when subjected to a subjected to a unique extraction and refinement process. Alright. Three. There you go. Bum bum. Clearly doesn't have anti-monopoly laws. Nope. Definitely not. Rowena needs to be stopped. She must be stopped. Hmm. Delicious water. Well, don't just stand there with your thumb up your ass. Let's see the goods. Yep, Geralt's a uh, very pleasant person. Aye, these are proper sky rocks, and no mistake, Godbert's not back yet. Well, I reckon we can get a head start on extracting that special oil of his. All right, well, don't fuck it up, because that was expensive. Bugger. This might as well be cooking grease for all be cooking grease for all the conductivity it's got. I must have botched one of the steps. Oh god. <laughs> but which one? Pretty sure I followed them instructions to the damn letter. There was no fault in your process, Master Geralt. Then how do you explain this bottle of weak piss sitting on me anvil? It has yet to undergo the final treatment, an advanced oil pressing technique, passed down through generations of Mandeville lub lubricant enthusiasts. <laughs> hmm. It'll take more. It'll take more than some enthusiastic oil pressing to bring this liquid up to snuff. Oh, ye of little faith, observe. Look, Mandevils can do just magic, so... <laughs> Gods, man! What in the hells are you stripping down to your small clothes for? I should have known you were just some degenerate fop. Patience, Master Gerald. This is merely the prelude. <laughs> Behold the mighty squats of a Mandeville man! <laughs> that should be enough to get the juices flowing. Now, to demonstrate the aforementioned technique. 
a single drop of potently empowered mandeville perspiration. Oh no, it's cursed. My weapon is cursed. I don't want it. <laughs> you can keep the weapon. Gods, it's full of stars. <laughs> but, but that don't change anything. You're still just an eccentric old bugger prancing about and sweating on things. <laughs> Maybe so. But look closer, Master Gerald. Thus is the Exala Mandeville made ready. What do you mean, ready? All you did was add your trippings. Bugger me! It ain't possible. Don't suppose you're going to explain this, are you? One does not simply reveal the tricks of one's trade, especially long-guarded family traditions. As a fellow professional, I'm sure you understand. I will. Makes no difference to me. Wouldn't be caught dead doing them creepy poses. Bracing banter aside, I do believe this puts us in possession of all the necessary components. It is your time to shine, Master Gerald. Oh, I'll shine all right. You're a cut above the average craftsman, I'll grant you that. But you've still a few rungs to climb. Best shield your eyes, ladies and gents, because my work is positively blinding. Drag Rowena into P8S. <laughs> oh. Weapon. Success, just as I predicted. That right there is a collaborative masterpiece. The Mandeville Spear. That I would live to see my ancestors' wondrous forge were created, uh, recreated. You've made me a happy Mandeville man, Melchan. Let's not break out the bubbly booze just yet, your lordship. We've got a ways to go off or we can call our work finished. Master Gerald is quite right. I've neglected to properly explain that this is but the first stage of a much grander creation. The bare bones of the weaponry, if you will. Aye. Now begins the endless chore of refinement, which means I'll be stuck here for God knows how long. I am loath to monopolise your time, my good blacksmith, but the manual is written in a most confounding cipher. I'm not even certain when I will finish decoding the next step in the process. So I'm to sit idle then. At least I have a few bottles of quality liquor to keep me company. <laughs> A regrettable yet unavoidable delay. Let us reconvene when the manual has given up its secrets, shall we? Meanwhile, I leave the weaponry in your battle-hardened hands. When next we meet, your report of its performance will be indispensable in guiding our improvements. Ah, and should you wish to experiment with a different variety of Mandeville weapon? <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> then this highly trained house Mandeville artisan is at your service. I've imparted to him the necessary techniques for facilitating this initial stage of crafting. He requires only a contribution of Mandarian meteorite to forge a weapon of your choosing. <laughs> is he able to do the sweat thing as well? Another near naked bastard. 
What do your Mandeville, Mandeville folk have against trousers? Oh. <laughs> you know what? I don't even want to know. Just leave the smith into me. When I do a job, I do it right. Very well, then I shall return anon. I am most eager to see the next stage of our masterpiece take shape. <laughs> well. <laughs> the repeatable quest is now available. Yep. That's how you make the other relics if you want. Manda, Manda, Mandeville. Manda, Manda, Mandeville demands. And ham earring up. Ham er earring up. It's up. Mandeville spear. Alright, that's the that's all we can make so far. Well, there ain't much we can do until his lordship is done picking apart the next passage of his great great granddaddy's instructions. If you have no patience for waiting, might be as you can ask Yon Master Small Clothes to forge another type of Mandeville weapon. Not to worry, I'll be around to see it all comes together to get all comes together good and proper like. Words. Words are hard. Alright. That's the relic quest line that they'll keep uh, adding more to with each patch. It's not as good as my current stuff at the moment because I've got the P8S weapon, but uh, it might become best in slot at some point. So I'll keep it, keep upgrading it just in case. And I want to see what it ends up looking like. At the moment, it's kind of cool, but they usually get really glowy effects. Ooh, what what does it look like if I die it? Ah, okay. Ooh. This little... The, the weird little ribbon-ish thing. Changes colour. That's cool. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be a nice, easy source of weapons for my alts, though. What have I got for white mage at the moment? That's Fidelos Cade. Yeah, I'll probably want to make a white mage one. Uh, what have I got for dancer? Oh, no, I've got the EX4 weapon. And I do want one for Dark Knight because I I've decided to start learning Dark Knight, so. So that's something I can send my uh, spend my tombstones on. These ones. Bum, bum, bum. I'm glad I uh, streamed that because that was pretty entertaining. Let's see his dialogue. Ah, I can't see what this is going to look like. Greetings and salutations, Mr. Sangura. I stand willing and able to aid you in the creation of any Mandeville weaponry you may desire. Before we can fulfill your request, however, I must ask that you provide me with the necessary quantity of Mandaria meteorite. Three solid chunks of the stuff, to be precise. Alright, well, I'll uh, do that at some point. More weapons. Alright, well, there you go. Grind, 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 yes. <laughs> it's the it's the grind. Well, I think that's that's it for the Mandeville stuff. Yeah, six point three there'll be another chapter of the Hildebrand story and uh, more of the relic weapon. Oh wait, 6.38 I think it is actually. 6.3 will have another chapter of the MSQ. Uh, it'll have the next Aglaia wing. 
Looking forward to seeing what happens in Aguirre. And what else will I have? There'll be a new trial, but I think that's going to be part of the MSQ. Another Tataru chapter, I think? Hmm. All this happens for nothing because Zelix uses her Aether Blades. Ah, yep, yep. Oh, you could like head cannon that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> that they inspire I you to. Do not despair. You are not without allies. Hey, Koi. Thank you very much. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate you. Thank you. It's good to see you. Yeah, I was thinking you could like head cannon it. That's crafting the weapons kind of helps inspire you to like improve the aether blades or something. I don't know. Anyway, well, I think they make a fancy lightsaber. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that would work. I think that's everything that I wanted to do from the new content 6.2. There's the new tribe as well, but uh, I haven't started doing that, and that's kind of a long-term grind so I think I think we're done might chuck that on one of my retainers for the moment hmm no, I think we're done so I think I'll finish up the stream I haven't done that much talking in quite a while actually <laughs> my my throat's a bit sore already I'll have some dinner Uh, so tomorrow night we'll be doing reclears, hopefully killing P8S again. And Wednesday we were thinking of doing another Uwu night, so we'll see how we go with that. And uh, next afternoon stream I do, we'll, uh, I'll probably start Metroid Dread Dread Mode. That's the last Metroid Dread thing I have left to do. And I have been wanting to get back to that game. So I'll see if there's anyone I want to raid. If Twitch wants to load at all. Please, thank you. I can send you to Power Up With Pride 2022. They're doing their uh, winter marathon. It's a speed run marathon. Hey, Audrey. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, this was my... Uh, my earlier in the day stream time slot. Yeah, so tomorrow night will be raid night. Yeah, thank you all very much for watching. And I'll send you to power up with pride. A speedrun marathon that's benefiting, I think, Trevor Project. That's what they were benefiting last time I saw them anyway. Yeah, thank you all for watching, and I shall see you next time. See ya.